Hi, and this is Natalie from Nine Dot Arrow from the Netherlands, and I'm here um, to try out an idea. I just, um, well, I just thought of it a few minutes ago, and I was thinking, oh, maybe I can put the camera on, and let's try if it works. I have here some uh, junk mail envelopes, and what I did was cut them straight because I want to have uh, some sort of pockets, and this one is obviously damaged, but we can fix this I figured and I have um, mostly with the windows um, what I really like and what I want to do is something different than we usually do with the envelopes and um, maybe somebody already did this I don't know but I thought it would be fun I also have a big envelope uh, this is also junk mail but on this side uh, the address uh, is on not my address but uh, from my mother-in-law and I try to make it white with um, how do you call it gesso um, but then I thought oh why I, I can put something over it I can glue pages over it so I don't need to do that I hope the lighting is okay um, I can maybe this is better um so yeah this one is still wet uh we have the flappy thingy but we are going to use this one i have tried it on other junk mail envelopes too to take out uh get rid of the logo but i don't think it's necessary um so i have a lot of envelopes and usually we um put them in like so or in different angles and what i came up with it was okay why don't we let me see if i have some sort of the same envelopes with about the same window thing this is on the right side these are larger windows um what do i have over here the one that has to dry uh, also on the left okay I have one on the right and what I was thinking I'm going to stack them like this um, like this and one like this this one like this and maybe this one in between although this is very near the edge maybe I'm going to put this one like so um, you just see it around yeah and I'm not sure if it will work Let's just figure out together. Um, so I have them now stacked like this. And maybe you're already guessing what I want to do is put them together like this. Um, but I do need to fix a few envelopes um, that are really, really wide. I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller and also I'm going to get rid of the the chair um, the chair piece prepare this I just thought I'm going to switch on the camera and I'm going to try to use this method and then we will see how it will end and if it doesn't end well I'm not going to upload the video uh, but what I was thinking what if Let me grab my scoreboard. What if we score on all of these envelopes? 
uh, I'm just guesstimating. I think this is one and a half centimeter. I don't know how much it is in inches, but um, make a score line on all the envelopes. them back, taking them flat again, maybe we can put this on the front side, put this on the inside like so, put this one over here like so. all the, the sides over here and what I was thinking I'm not sure if we must do this before we put in the eyelets because I want to put in eyelets or after um, and let me tell you why because if I, I okay I won't, I'm going to explain better I want to Punch eyelets in here. Okay. There's something in here so I can't see now. just going to put them in we will see this is just a prototype if it doesn't work we can do it different or you can do it different if you want to try this out let me put in another one that does fit Otherwise, it will take ages. Okay. And now you line this side up and you poke a hole on this side too. And I'm just eyeballing it that it's about the same height as on the other side. If you want to measure this, you should measure. I don't measure, I don't like to measure. you have some sort of journal okay this has to be glued um, no I'm not going to do it now because I have to glue on the outside otherwise I will glue down a sh close the envelope thing but this can be in your journal uh, this can be a journal actually uh, just holding the parts over. Okay, there needs to be one eyelet in the middle too, or maybe we can put in one over here and one over here too. And obviously, you can't make very Chunky Monkey Journal, although if you make several um, 
signatures like this, you can sew all the signatures together also. That's another idea you can do. But let's just start off with this little um, small journal. Oh. There's something sticky on here. I don't know what it is. But it does work. Ta-da! <laughs> so this is fun. And I was thinking about uh, sewing it in on a larger envelope. And this will be your outside cover. But you can also uh, put uh, on uh, other pages, of course. Or include a little bag. I have a bag over here. So you could also put in a bag like so. But just let's start off with this, see if this works, because this is not really sturdy now. It needs something more to hold on to. Um, I am going to use uh, the Crackling Axe kit for this, because I want to make a small journal from it. But I'm also going to put, um, what do you call it, scrapbook paper inside of these envelopes. I have some scrapbook paper over here, and if I... Fold it in half. I almost have the size of this envelope, which is good. Oh, it doesn't fit in here. Oh, my neighbor is playing music, which is quite all right, but it's only the bass you hear very loud. And, um, well, I hear it very loud because I have, my ears don't work very well Ow, at the moment. It's getting better, but it's still not, it's, it's not okay, but I'm going to see a specialist next month. So I hope he can fix it. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. I can use both of the sides, I think. Yeah. Put this out of the way. Um, now I am going to slide this in here. Not. <laughs> I'm not going to slide it in there because it doesn't fit. It's a little bit too high, so I need to cut off a little piece from the top. a little bit too wide So this can slide in here, okay, that's okay. Uh, do I want to cover it with the glue? Yeah, I do. But I'm not going to uh, glue it on completely, just a, a tiny bit. And I'm going to use uh, double-sided tape to do that. I'm just going to glue on uh, this part that is on here. Because otherwise I don't know how to glue it in. And obviously you can you can also use you can also use the uh, your glue you don't have to use the tape but I think that is easier for the for the video now. Okay, it's 
it's in I need to put something over here oh but now it's not straight how is this possible okay I'm going to do it like this no worries now it's straight again but this feels really nice as a little journal signature or a, a, a journal on its own yeah this does feel okay uh, I have another larger one to put in here and you can also use your scissors of course you don't have to use a, a trimming device um, the back side is a, the back cover is a little bit more narrow than the front cover, but I will fix this by putting something on. Uh, I'm now only going to focus on the front cover and maybe also on the back cover because I'm not able to finish the whole journal in one video, I think. Um, but yeah, you can do several things. Um, like for instance... Put the journaling, uh, like a journaling card in here. So it's already more pretty to see and it's a little bit more sturdy. Because otherwise things will get ripped, I'm sure. Again, I'm just eyeballing. I'm not measuring anything. This is just to give it more sturdiness. Yeah, I do like it. And what you can do is put some thread in here to embellish it. But let's work on the front cover. Uh, like I said, I am going to use the Crackling X kit to make a little pretty um, journal for spring slash... Easter. I'm using this kit. It's in my Etsy. Uh, I will leave the link down below. Um, and I'm just going to see what paper I want on the front side. There is a lot that I want to use. I really like this kit. I love making it, but I also like using it. Um, Let me see, how am I going to do this? I do love these. And this is absolutely my favorite paper. So I want this behind the window, for sure. And since it will be in the envelope, I'm not going to bother with cutting to figure out how am I going to glue it down. Let's see, how will this work? I think I can put some glue over here. Let's see if it will work. I don't know. Because I have to slide it in without putting glue on the window. Oh. Oh, almost, almost. Let's see a bit. It's just a little bit of glue over here, but it's a tiny bit. I like this. This is cute. Not sure if you can see. I'm going to collage over this with the papers and make a pretty front cover. And I 
think this is a fun fun and easy project to make and and if you don't have the eyelets but you can poke holes you can also poke the holes and just sew them together with the pamphlet stitch you you put to use your signatures in your journal i i don't see why that's not possible um not sure if i put it like this no i'm going to place it like so This is cool. Yeah. I like this. So you can slide something in here. Okay, let's work on the back side a little. What I'm going to do on this side is... Um, let me see, how am I going to do it? Yeah, so I'm going to cover it with uh, maybe this paper because then it's almost the same like the front. In here, I don't want to glue an image in here, but I want to put something in here and the image will have show in the window, if that makes any sense what I'm saying now. But on the front side, I glued in the image behind the window and this um, envelope is not going to be like that, but I'm going to place something behind the window and you can slide it in and out. That's what I want to do. So this is what you have to be aware of, not um, cut open the envelopes, but yeah, it's an easy fix.
let's see what do we have we have this we have this and I do need to I want to put some lace over here maybe I can do it now I grab some lace and I'm going to place it on here so yeah now we have this that's cool do I want to cut off a little bit from this side and not ruin the how do you call it the window I'm going to do it because I don't like it's very large compared to the backside cover so I'm going to take a strip off This is better. And I also need to take a strip up from this envelope, I think. Yeah. I do. Oh, but I, I really like this. It feels, it feels really good. Um, and it lays flat and it's uh, easy to uh, flip over I'm going to uh, place some lace over here too and I'm not sure if you can hear but Mr. Supervisor is outside the door screaming again he wants to get in he is sick again the little guy I don't know what it is I I have a feeling every video I'm telling somebody is sick <laughs> Or I am sick, or we are both sick in this sick in this case because I have something on my ears and Mr. Supervisor is sick again and he's getting new meds and now they want to check him again. But they almost did everything you could possibly do. They've done it. Um, uh, and it's not uh, cheap. <laughs> and I do want him to get better, but uh, he even was operated. He had a colonoscopy I'm not sure how you call it but they looked inside but they did it by operating him so they could really go into everything because if you do it from the outside you don't see the whole area so and having your cat uh, operated is very expensive I can tell you and the only thing they came up with yeah he he doesn't we don't know what he has because everything inside is okay so I was thinking, okay, yeah, well, this helped. Uh, and now they want to do it again. And I'm, so today I was at the vet uh, clinic and I was saying, well, I do want to help my little guy, of course. But why do I need to go through everything again if you didn't find anything? I'm not going to do that now. Um, I do want to put something over here too. Maybe I'm going to put... Um, let me see what kind of color do I have? I have blue. No, I don't want blue. Let me show you what we got now. I'm going to stand so I can see what you see. And you can put something in here. This is still a pocket. And of course, we are going to do more embellishments on this side too. But isn't this fun? Should I just, for the sake of it, put lace over here too and finish this side too? Yeah, we're going to do that.
So it's finally glued on. It's too bad I messed this up. Uh, let me see what I can do to cover this. Oh, I have a great idea what I want to put in here. Uh, but how can I cover this up? I have pockets in these kits. Um, I have smaller ones and I have larger ones. Just see. I like this one. And I still have the challenge going on. Um, if you go to the show and tell video of this Crackling X kit, um, there's a challenge that is hashtag LDA Crackling X. And you need to post a comment underneath that video, that particular show and tell video. And tell me how many X there are in this kit. And I'm only um, meaning actual X, so not X shaped thingies, because I have a logo that is also on the kit with an oval shaped. Um, yeah, it's part of the logo, but that's not an egg. So don't take that in and you can also count the X on the front page the um, show and tell paper and if you see half an egg it's an egg and what you can win um, is one digital kit and it can be um, memories from the past vintage florals and what was the other one spring writings not this one other kits because they really go well with this kit and if you buy the kit you can really count the eggs uh, but you can also try and to count them uh watching the youtube channel of course okay oh, that's not <laughs> that's not what i hoped Oh, I cut out the wrong one. Let me see. Uh, this one goes better. But if you want to join in in this giveaway, this little giveaway, um, guess, guess how many eggs there are in this kit. And obviously there will be several answers nearby the exact um, uh, amount of eggs. Uh, or maybe nobody exactly guess how many eggs there are in. And to be honest, I have to count them myself. So, and I didn't do that, so you can still enter. But when I counted the eggs, uh, I will do uh, the video with the giveaway thing. And also we had... Um, Go stems challenge going on in the Facebook group. Uh, I still have to do the drawing for that. So, but I do want to ink this um, pocket a little. I don't like it when it's not etched with ink. I'm going to put it over here. So, okay. That's okay. Um, I don't know what this white is. I didn't glue down the paper correct, I think. But I'm going to ink. I'm just going to ink a little bit so you can see the difference when it's inked. Because it looks better when it's inked, in my opinion. And it's looking better already. It's not as stark white anymore. And I was thinking if you put in uh, something over here or add little washi tapes or put some embellishments over here, it will be even more prettier. But I really do like how this turned out. Can I? Oh, I can even 
push this a little bit and ink the white. This is what we got, and so far I'm liking this. Yeah. You can even make it into a little ephemera folder for yourself to put in all your goodies. So I'm going to work on this a little bit more. Um, some of it on camera, some of it off camera. But I will keep you posted on the progress and take you along with me with a new video very soon. Um, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, maybe you want to give it a thumbs up. Um, please try this. And if you try this, make sure you... If you put it on uh, your post on Instagram, hashtag me in your post because I can see what you did. I really love to see all your makings. Uh, it's, um, I will link everything down below in the video, my Instagram account. And you can also um, hashtag me in the Facebook group or in Facebook, on Facebook, um, hashtag line.arrow. And I can see your makings. Uh, if you're not subscribed, maybe you want to be a subscriber to this channel. I also have a Facebook group. I already mentioned this. And there's a challenge going on with the Crackling X. And we will also have weekly challenges very soon. Just making stuff from um, crafts from your own uh, supplies. So you don't have to buy a lot of things. I also have a lot of freebies on my Facebook group that can be used. Um, when you are in the Facebook group as a member. Um, yeah, I have it all covered now. So uh, thank you very much for watching. You can leave me a comment. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.